Our journey into the realms of aviation titans begins with the legendary Hughes H-4 Hercules, also known as the Spruce Goose. Conceived during World War II, this colossal flying boat was a masterpiece of innovation and ambition. Envisioned by industrialist Henry J. Kaiser and aviation pioneer Howard Hughes, it stands as a testament to human ingenuity under pressure. The brainchild of a Liberty shipbuilder and an audacious aircraft designer, the 8-4 was designed to transport an incredible 150,000 pounds equivalent to 750 fully equipped troops or two 30-ton M4 Sherman tanks. With a contract issued in 1942, the Hercules was a product of its time, designed under stringent wartime restrictions which limited the use of aluminum. This led to its construction predominantly from birchwood using the innovative Duramold process contrary to its misleading nickname, Spruce Goose. The Hercules was a behemoth in every sense. It boasted the largest wingspan of any aircraft until the scaled composites strata launch took flight in 2019. Its dimensions were staggering. A length of 218 feet, a wingspan of 320 feet, and a towering height of 79 feet. Powered by eight Pratt & Whitney R4360 Wasp major engines, each generating 3,000 horsepower, this giant was meant to soar. Despite its grand design, the Hercules' moment in the sky was fleeting. On November 2, 1947, with Hughes himself at the controls, it lifted off for a single short flight. Covering a distance of about one mile at a height of 70 feet, it cruised at 135 miles per hour, showcasing its capability, albeit briefly, this sole flight, lasting just 26 seconds, marked the H-4's first and last venture into the skies. Today, the H-4 Hercules resides at the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum in McMinnville, Oregon, a majestic relic of a bygone era. Its legacy endures, a symbol of extraordinary ambition and the unyielding human spirit in the face of adversity. Now let's turn our attention to another giant of the skies, the Antonov AN-225 Maria. Stay with us as we explore the story of the world's longest and heaviest airplane. Now let's ascend with the Antonov AN-225 Maria, a marvel of modern aviation. Originating from the Soviet Union in the 1980s, the AN-225 was not just a plane. It was a symbol of colossal ambition. It was developed as an enlargement of the Antonov AN-124, primarily to transport the Buran-class orbiters of the Soviet space program. With a maximum takeoff weight of 640 tons, the AN-225 was the heaviest aircraft ever built. Its remarkable capabilities including transporting objects once deemed impossible to move by air, like 130-ton generators, wind turbine blades, and diesel locomotives. This giant had a length of 84 meters, a wingspan of 88.4 meters, and a towering height of 18.1 meters. Powered by six turbofan engines, the AN-225's cargo hold was a cavernous space, measuring over 43 meters long, capable of holding up to 190 tons of cargo. Its flight deck, accommodating a crew of six, was a testament to engineering facilitating long-range missions with features like beds for crew rest. Despite its size, the Maria had a service ceiling of 11,000 meters and could cruise at speeds up to 800 kilometers an hour. The Maria was a vital asset in disaster relief, capable of rapidly transporting huge quantities of emergency supplies. Its versatility was further showcased in commercial service, setting records and even hosting the world's highest altitude art exhibition. Tragically, the only completed AN-225 was destroyed during the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. However, the legacy of the Maria endures, with plans announced to construct another AN-225 using parts from the wreckage, a tribute to Ukrainian resilience. Next, we turn to another giant of the skies, the Airbus A380-800. We now ascend with the Airbus A380-800 a marvel that redefined the skies. Known as the Super Jumbo, the A380 is the world's largest passenger airliner and the only full-length, double-deck jet airliner. 
This European giant, developed by Airbus, emerged as a direct competitor to Boeing's 747 in the long-haul market. Featuring a typical seating capacity of 525 and a maximum of 853 passengers, the A380 is an engineering feat. It stretches 72.72 meters in length with an expansive wingspan of 79.75 meters. Standing 24.09 meters tall, this quad jet is powered by either Engine Alliance GP7200 or Rolls-Royce Trent 900 turbofans, providing an impressive range of 8,000 nautical miles. The A380's interior is synonymous with luxury and comfort, offering spacious seating and in some configurations, amenities like showers and bars. Its large cargo hold can accommodate a maximum payload of 84 tons, ensuring ample space for both passenger luggage and cargo. Production of the A380 was a global effort, with major structural sections built in France, Germany, Spain, and the United Kingdom. The aircraft's enormous size required innovative transport solutions, including specialized road and water transportation, and the A300-600ST Beluga transport aircraft. The A380's operational history is impressive, with Emirates being the largest operator. As of October 2023, 232 out of 251 delivered A380s were in service across 16 operators globally. Notably, the A380 fleet has had no fatalities or hull losses as of November 2021, marking it as one of the safest aircraft in operation. Although production of the A380 ended in December 2021, its legacy endures in the aviation world. The Airbus A380-800 remains a symbol of aerial grandeur and technological advancement, captivating the imagination of travelers and aviation enthusiasts alike. Up next, we take to the skies with the scaled composites Strata Launch, the aircraft with the world's largest wingspan. Ascending into the realms of aerospace innovation, we meet the scaled composites model 351 Strata Launch, nicknamed Rock. Built by Scaled Composites for Stratolaunch Systems, ROC represents a leap in air launch technology. With its debut in December 2011 and first flight in April 2019, this twin fuselage aircraft was designed to carry air launch to orbit Alto rockets and, more recently, to conduct hypersonic flight testing. The Stratolaunch boasts the longest wingspan ever flown at 385 feet surpassing even the Hughes H-4 Hercules. Its monumental design includes two fuselages, each 238 feet long, supported by a total of 28 wheels. The flight crew, housed in the right fuselage cockpit, pilots this colossal aircraft, which requires a staggering 12,000 feet of runway for liftoff. Powered by six Pratt & Whitney PW4056 engines, the Stratolaunch is a marvel of engineering, incorporating many systems from Boeing 747-400, including engines, avionics, and flight deck. This integration not only enhances the aircraft's capabilities, but also significantly reduces development costs. Initially intended to launch satellites into low Earth orbit, the Stratolaunch's mission evolved to include carrying hypersonic test vehicles. It's capable of lifting an incredible payload of 550,000 pounds. The versatility of this aircraft opens new frontiers in aerospace, offering a mobile platform for launching into space or conducting high-speed flight tests. The Stratolaunch, with its record-breaking wingspan and innovative design, is more than just an aircraft. It's a symbol of human ingenuity, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in aerospace technology. We conclude our journey with the HAV Airlander 10, affectionately nicknamed the Flying Bum. This hybrid airship, a British innovation by Hybrid Air Vehicles, represents a blend of old and new in aviation technology. Originally developed as the HAV 304 for the US Army, the Airlander 10 is a remarkable combination of helium airship with auxiliary wing and tail surfaces. It achieves lift through both aerostatic and aerodynamic forces and is powered by four diesel engine-driven ducted propellers. After its return to the UK, the airship was modified for civilian use, leading to its designation as the Airlander 10. It's capable of staying aloft for five days when crewed and over two weeks unmanned. 
The Airlander 10's potential applications range from transport and aerial surveillance to luxury passenger services and disaster relief. Distinguished by its elliptical shape and contoured hull, the Airlander 10 acts as a lifting body, generating significant aerodynamic lift. Its hull, made of triple-layered composite materials, maintains its structure when inflated, with buoyancy provided by helium. The craft's propulsion system features four Thealert Centurion diesel engines, and its flight control system is connected via a sophisticated fly-by optics system. The Airlander 10's flight deck offers expansive visibility and is equipped for optionally piloted operations. Looking ahead, production of the Airlander 10 is planned for 2025, with deliveries expected in 2026, marking a new era in versatile and sustainable air travel. From the gargantuan Hughes H-4 Hercules to the innovative Airlander 10, these aircraft are not just feats of engineering, they are symbols of human aspiration. Each one represents a unique chapter in the ongoing story of aviation, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the sky. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the skies. We hope you've been as inspired as we are by these remarkable machines. Until next time, keep looking up. As our journey at Giga Gear Galaxy concludes, we thank you for joining us in exploring the fascinating world of agricultural and construction machinery. If you're as passionate about these mechanical giants as we are, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Your support helps us delve deeper into these industrial marvels.